I'm sorry. I can't come to the door right now. I'm afraid that in my weakened condition, I could take a nasty spill down the stairs and subject myself to further school absences. Ooh. And now, now, now. Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The big dumb fun show. And now it's time for the Entertainment 10 with Rena Meta. Whoop, whoop. Okay, you know we're going to talk about J-Lo, right? Yeah. Okay, well, did you hear the announcement that J-Lo and Steven Tyler will not be returning to American Idol? I this this heard that. this news just totally takes me by surprise. Do, no, it doesn't. Okay, they're, they're do, they, even uh, Phil Jackson's not going to be back. You mean Phil Jackson? <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. The only reason why I think they probably ever came onto the show is just to get their name back into the limelight. Because if you look at J Lo, she's doing hair commercials, she's doing movies, she was doing the judging American Idol clothing line. I mean, she just did a like a woo back on her. But it sounded, I had read a little bit about this, and I, I, tw- I did shout out a few tweets during the week when I saw something that was posted interesting about it. That was a part and of it, your weekly tweet. Just, I, I tweet every day. The tweet of the week? I do a, th- I looked it up, there. I do the three tweet. You do the three tweet? A three tweet. Which is the three tweets during the week. No, three and tweets And if it's good, it's a, a repeat, you do you repeat the tweet? I repeat the tweet. No, I don't, I never repeat the tweet. You never but, repeat the tweet during the week. But reading about this, it sounded like the people from American Idol were basically... Looking to do a reboot. A reboot. My whole thing is, is let me just throw it out there. I guess there are negotiations with Mariah Carey, but then I heard Miley Cyrus. I mean, I've heard Fergie. I've heard so many different names. Adam but Lambert. Adam, which I don't understand Adam Lambert. I know he was on American Idol, but I don't understand that. But I honestly think American Idol just needs to end it. I think it needs to go away. I think that the X Factor needs to go away. The and, voice. Uh, the voice needs The voice to go doesn't away. need to go away. The voice just started a season or two ago and that's actually a pretty decent show because it's not based on looks. It's not based on dancing. It's Solely based on the voice. I just think that uh, that it all it, it, it won't go away until the ratings drop. I don't I I don't keep track of the ratings. I don't know what what's going on, but until they get to where you can't sell it, then it will eventually go away, and people just out there need to just stop watching this crap. I, uh, ugh, it just it, it bugs it, the heck out of it's me. It's just all reality TV, and that's man, ninety eight percent of uh, of all reality TV. I, I can't well, stand. It's just awful. And you search online. If there's not an ice road trucker involved. This I don't want to watch on wetpaint.com, indicating that Fox will be downsizing. American Idol in 2013. I don't know. What do you mean by downsizing? I think they're going to be auditioning midgets. <laughs> very, very small judges. Moving on. No, no. I think they're, <laughs> they're, they're cutting the budget because J-Lo, Steven Tyler, probably took quite a bit of money to get those guys to sit down at the they table. They did. And all the, the I think the only reason why they did it was to just get their celebrity or more opportunities out of it. I mean, I don't think J-Lo, and she even said that she's moving on to get back to what she was doing before. I think a lot of people did forget uh, that Aerosmith exists, and so they really needed to make sure that Steven Tyler got out there because a lot of people forgot about and, Aerosmith. And now they can do no, another I don't think it was that. CD. I think they were, they were looking to replace somebody, and they wanted to get something that, I mean, at least somebody like Steven Tyler, who has a, a long history as a rock and roll artist, I think that He's pretty qualified to be a judge of what's good or not. I do, but you know who they were considering there for a second? Charlie Sheen. I'd watch that. You would <laughs> watch it for Train the wreck. mere entertainment because, yeah, it's an entertainment. But I don't think Charlie Sheen knows much about music. He probably knows a yeah. lot about music. J-Lo, she knows more about music, right? She knows more about more than Charlie Sheen, but at the same time, J-Lo is not winning Grammys. She's J Lo. I love J Lo to death, but she's an entertainer. That's I mean, she's not a Mariah Carey. Now Mariah Carey, that woman's got a voice. I think what happened was that they 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 took lightning in a bottle with uh, with Simon Cowell's show overseas. Mm-hmm. They Americanized it, which they do with a lot of stuff. It was a huge hit. They and decided, they rode that train. Yeah, they rode that train. Oh, I know. There's Simon an Indian said, idol, too. Simon said, oh, crap, this is really starting to suck. This is going to go downhill. And then uh, and Paula knew it as well, and they, they jumped ship, and then Randy Jackson's like, hey, you know, this is a paycheck. I'm just going to stick around. And now, you know, it's just, you're going to... I think if Idol continues to go on, 
Mm-hmm. I think you're just going to keep seeing this. I think you're going to just keep seeing uh, a rotation of judges and just. Uh, it letting, already has next happened. Next week it's going to be what Ellen was she a judge? At she one time? was a judge for one season. Maybe and all she new left. judges every show. Like who who I gets guess. to judge it tonight? Uh, you know, like it's and the fact that why is there judges if you're supposed to be able to judge on your phone yourself and vote on your phone? Uh, you're absolutely correct. Yeah, everyone will be like, who can judge the best? Well, I mean, they do. They've already taken American Idol everywhere. I mean, there's an India Idol. I'm pretty sure there's a Chinese Idol. I think they've made their money back. Yeah, they've made their money um, back. and But maybe. they don't have anything that's going to come percentage? along. And how, many, how many seasons have they made? Uh, I don't do you know? know. I know they're on in their late, I don't know, nine, ten. Let's just say ten. ten. Let's, Let's just, just say, say ten. ten. All right, yeah. so of the ten seasons, how many of it? Uh, there's Carrie Underwood, right, mm-hmm. big star. Uh, there's uh, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. David Cook. Nah, he doesn't count. <laughs> Why? Because he's not a big star. He is. What's his last album? I don't know. Exactly. So, Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson. Pickering? Kelly, Kelly Pickering? Kelly Pickering. Uh, Vanessa, what's her name? The, Hudgens? Uh, not Vanessa Hudgens. Ah. Uh, uh, oh. What's her name? The one she does like the Weight Watchers commercials right now. I thought that was Vanessa Hudgens. No, that's Vanessa. That's not Vanessa Hudgens. Okay, let's just say thirty-five percent of the American Idols have actually gone on seasons. to do something. Eleven, 11 seasons. seasons. All right, so I think it's pretty safe to say thirty-five, forty percent have actually done something with their AI, their AI contract, right? Like, that's not a good percentage. Where's Ruben? Where's Ruben stuttered? I think some of them can't handle the hype. I mean, when you get into that celebrity... But they've been handpicked by these judges. I don't know. Can we move on? What's his face is for Queen now, right? Can we yeah, move Yeah, he's on? the lead singer. Adam Lambert now uh, is Adam Lam- Queen with Adam Lambert. Because he's probably the closest to Freddie Mercury. <laughs> as you can get. As you can get. Yeah, I know, but Adam Lambert... Without getting a straight guy he involved. Ha- he's a, I, don't, I don't know. what He's not that great. Did he win? Was he a winner? Did or he win? I don't think he no. was a winner. He was a big loser. Huh. Okay. Well, he shall came we, in second place. Shall we move on? We shall. Okay. Well, did you hear about the big Bruce Springsteen and Paul McCartney were basically they shut him down? Who shut him down? Okay. They were in London performing in Hyde Park, and their microphones were silenced because they went past ten thirty by an hour. And there was so many city complaints or something like that. There, so there's a city ordinance, and it had actually happened before to Paul McCartney and the Beatles. They got up on a rooftop, but no, years they didn't ago, get up on this the, was years ago. Yeah, but, but this they, is at this concert you're talking about. At this concert, they were performing. Like Bruce pulled up Paul McCartney, and they performed. Oh my gosh, what songs? The Beatles hit I Saw Her Standing There and Twist and Shout. And I think there was like 65,000 people there. And these two, I mean, this is a this is a big deal. I mean, Bruce brought him up on stage. They performed. And he, basically, they didn't even get to thank the people. As soon as the song was over, they cut him off. And they got booed. They were pretty ticked off at London. 